Okay, guys, so I am back with another homeschool video. Um, by the time you see this, it will be very close to February 1st, which we all know is Black History Month. Um, for me, we're always learning Black History. It's a big thing. Um, I enjoy that flexibility within us homeschooling, but I do put more emphasis on it, um, on learning like about indigenous people, um, just the same as like a secular type school would. So since we're putting emphasis on Black History Month for the month of February, I am going to show you a few things that we will be doing for the month. Now, I don't have anything like specifically mapped out, like we're gonna read this, da -da -da -da. like I don't have it down to a science like that, but we will be working through all of these. So this one here, so I have this book, it's um, Black Heroes and it says 51 inspiring people from ancient Africa and the modern day USA. So it has things, and we've already read some books, like we read the Mansa Musa book, um, so they'll you know recognize some of these people. So it has this, it has little information on him. Um, Benjamin Bankner, I think is how you say it. Um, so, and with a lot of this, I learn with them. That's the one thing that I am enjoying with doing the homeschool is learning stuff with them because unfortunately, we're not taught a lot of black history in school. We're taught like Martin Luther King and slavery. And as a black person, like learning that your ancestors were in bondage and slaves and treated like nothing and then you see all these things that are currently going on on like in social media and how they portray us in social media it does not make you feel good so to keep in my mind a system circulating that works and thrives off of that that is perfect but for other people who want to educate themselves such as myself and want my kids to be educated and want my kids to be um excited and happy about who they are and proud of their ancestors because being a witch as well we do a lot of ancestor work so i want them to be proud and excited on who they are i want them to know and feel good about who their ancestors are and not to believe that they were just slaves because they were so much more than that and i want them to know also how much they had to endure during slavery to get to this point that we are today so with that being said, we're going to continue with this. Um, it just, again, has like 51 different um, George Washington Carver, who we've like learned a little bit about. Um, just different little histories or information about different people. It looks like each person got like two pages um, of information on them. And so it'll be nice just to do like maybe one a day and like we can finish it out through the year. We don't have to finish it in February or I could put it on pause and then we kind of go back to it again next February. So just depending on um, how into it they are and stuff like that. I also got this um, favorite African folk, folk tales book and um, it has a few folk tales in here. Um, quite a few there's 26 different tales in here no sorry there's 32 different tales in here so even to just do this too maybe like on a friday where we have um more like fun friday to read a folk tale um every friday and like do this other book monday through thursday kind of thing is what i'm kind of feeling right now and then I also got them this curricular curriculum, which is called Black History from a Decolonized Perspective. And it just kind of breaks everything down for them and for myself as well. So it just has some information um, in there. Uh, like the first page, it has a map of Africa. 
And then it has more maps, U.S. and like a little map. So just for them to kind of put stuff in perspective. And then it goes on to, has module one, prior knowledge. Um, it says, what do you want to learn about black history? What do you know about black history? So it kind of just like gives them a point to reference back to once we're done. Discuss, do you think it's important to um, study black history why or why not and then um, it has some vocabulary words which will be pretty cool to have them you know google some words and look them up and define them and it has some comprehension um, research pages that they'll have to look up and we can do a couple of pages a day and like I said we're going to take our time with this and just work through it if we get through it this year we get through it if we don't then we don't and that's totally fine too and i know that the person who did this book i'm on um i do not know how to pronounce her last name but i know that she also when i ordered it had a class on out school if anyone is interested in that so you can get the book and you can take the class or you can have the book and do the class yourself which works for us and then the last book that I have is My African Icons, Great People in Black History. And this book just looks really nice. Um, it has a ton of information. We love looking into ancient Egypt, obviously, with the studying the witchcraft and our deities and stuff like that. So it has a ton of information. And this isn't too thick of a book, so... I'm pretty sure that we'll get through it. But again, I'll just be working out of these, um, what is it, four books to get them a little bit of um, African history, yeah, African history, African American history, however you want to look at it. So that's pretty exciting to me. And I know the girls like love learning and taking pride. And if there's anything that I could suggest as a homeschooler is whatever your um ethnicity is whatever your heritage is look into it and let your kids know about it because it will make them feel very very proud of who they are and their contribution into today's society and it's just exciting it makes you feel proud and it's nothing wrong with it like sometimes people are like oh mm -hmm. and it's not even like that like you should be able to be proud of who you are um as a person uh however that looks 